So why don't we want a cot bumper in our baby's cot? Um, yes, they do make the cot look a little bit prettier and they often go and match the duvet set that we've bought. But at the end of the day, all of that is just for the photo you're going to take for Instagram. When it comes to your baby's cot, we literally don't want a cot bumper, a cushion, a teddy, a blankie. We want nothing in the cot with the child when they are sleeping, especially when they're small, under the age of one, because it is not safe to keep them there. This is a risk for SIDS. But now specifically with cot bumpers, why is it a risk? Especially when your baby's three months old, they're not rolling around their cot, right? We're not worried about them rolling up to the side and getting suffocated by the cot bumper. So for a few reasons, when the baby is really small, we don't want a cot bump in the cot because there is always a chance. There is always a risk as they get slightly older and they start rolling that they can roll themselves into the cot bumper and their nose can heat up against the side of the cot bumper, even ones with holes in it. Okay, it's not safe. But secondly, what cot bumpers actually do is children haven't got very high level of arousal enzymes when they are much smaller. Okay, it improves or their arousal enzyme increases as they get slightly older. Now what the cot bumper does is it creates a carbon dioxide pocket inside of the cot because the air can't circulate nicely inside of the cot. And if the child is in the cot and they're breathing in and out and that carbon dioxide settles, in the cot. That is actually when they're small what is increasing the risk. It's the same reason why we don't want them placed on their stomach. It's not always because we're worried about it does, their face can smother in the mattress, but it's also because by their face we create a carbon dioxide pocket which then reduces the oxygen level in the baby and if they haven't got sufficient arousal enzyme to wake back up we see the child then dying in their sleep. Okay, so we want great circulation inside of the cot and in order for us to get that, we don't want a cot bumper in the cot. Now as the child gets older, the reason why we don't want a cot bumper in the cot is because it becomes a step ladder. They stand on, once they can stand up, then they stand on the cot bumper and it makes them higher and they can either learn how to climb out the cot, but before they're uh, agile enough to do it safely, what ends up happening is a child, their brain is very big, their head is quite big in proportion to the rest of their body, so they're top heavy, which means that as they lean over, they fall out the cot and it becomes exceptionally dangerous. So we don't want to give them anything in the cot that they can use as a ladder to climb out of the cot. Okay, People often worry about the hands and feet getting trapped in the side of the cot. Don't worry about that. Kids are very smart. They bring their hands and feet back in. But if you are concerned, especially about the feet, then use a sleep sack. Um, the sleep sack prevents them from being able to slide their legs out of the cot. But anyway, make avoid the cot bumper. If you've got one, you just use it as a play thing on the floor. Um, use it to take a pretty photo of the cot and then remove it from the cot. I hope that this helps.